Hey everybody and welcome to The Void, a show dedicated to filling the void between being an employee and becoming self-employed. Most people refer to starting your own company as taking the leap as if you're blindly jumping off a cliff and into the unknown. This show is here to help you understand that it doesn't have to be that way. David and I saw an opportunity to help others understand that self-employment is well within your reach and within your power. As always, if you like what you're hearing on the show, please do us a favor and help share the void with somebody else who may also be wanting to start their own company. Just as we saw the opportunity to help you, you should see the opportunity to help a, a friend of yours. We want this show to grow organically and by word of mouth, and for that to happen, it takes two things. The first is we have to give you guys some really, really good content, and the second is you have to do your part and help share our valuable message with somebody else. I'm your host, Mitch Smedley, and with me as always is David Hilton. Mitch, what's up, buddy? It's been a, it's been a good day. Today's been a good day? Today's been a great it's day. It's been a pretty nice week. I yeah. It's been freaking raining all day the last two days. Hey, rain's good. Yeah? yeah? I'd rather have rain than snow. Yeah? Did Marcus get the last few days off? No. No? He, no, he was with me in the rain yesterday. Shoveling. What'd you do, Marcus? Shoveling sewer stuff. He had... <laughs> oh, man, were you shoveling shit? I wasn't shoveling shit, no. Okay. No. He got muddy. I did get did muddy. Did get muddy? I did get muddy. He got oh, muddy. Oh, man. Did you yeah. get a bonus? No, no. Oh, shit. Okay. I'm anytime, always looking out for anytime with I'm me. I'm always looking out for my anytime man Anytime with you is a bonus. Anytime with me is a bonus. <laughs> well, that's horse shit, and we all know it. Okay? We all know it. Oh, all right, so, my God. so we got Marcus, Marcus behind the cameras. Yeah. Hey, everybody. Often Marcus. heard, never seen. We are we are blessed to have Miss Mrs. Mrs. Claire Mrs. Borja Mrs. with yes. us today. Yes. My great friend. Thank yeah. you, guys. Yeah. She is going to inspire us with her business knowledge. Yes. Right? Right. Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Absolutely. She's, <laughs> she's not sure. She's a little nervous. <laughs> yes, she's, I am. She's new into business. Her business is really I'm cool. Gonna do yeah. it. I personally visited her business last Friday just so I could experience what it was all about. Yeah. And, How was that? Uh, I left in pain. <laughs> no, you didn't. Not severe <laughs> pain. I was in pain when I was there. Yeah. Well, but it was a good pain. You're kind of soft. <laughs> Let's be honest. Couple of more visits to Claire, and I'll be I'll be hard. Be rock yes. hard. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> <Pause>. <laughs> oh my goodness! We wanted to have Claire on because uh, I've known Claire for a long time. Yeah, like like twenty years, eighteen. I would years? say it's going to be somewhere around there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Seventeen or eighteen, years. and she was an LPN. Yeah. Okay. What did you do as an LPN? So I originally actually back in 2003 in high school, I got my CNA. And then immediately after that, I started working for your dad's company. Oh, um, yeah. I forgot about that. Yeah. Like they really, <laughs> completely forgot you about know, that. and throughout my career and throughout my step process of moving kind of up the ladder, they continued to give me different job opportunities as I, you know, was transitioning between other jobs. Yeah. Um, and I always felt extremely autonomous and, and felt valued. So that was really cool. Um, but between going from CNA, um, I did all sorts of, of random things in healthcare with that. Um, and then I became a GI tech where I worked um, and helped assist a doctor in a surgery center doing colonoscopies and EGDs and different things like Whoa. that. It was so cool. It's just it was, for me. Yeah. Like for me, I'm like, no thanks. Yeah. It was <laughs> a really, really a amazing opportunity. Like and then I got my LPN. Um, from there, I was a scrub tech. I worked in pre-op. I worked in post-op. I really, for what specific um, education that I've had, I've had above and beyond experiences um, just because of the different jobs that I've applied for and been accepted to. So I think most LPNs don't get the same opportunities. So I feel extremely blessed that I've yeah. been able to do all of the different things and all of the different scopes that I've been able to. Well, I'll let you kind of you know, find what you like, exactly. what you don't and like, nursing, new experiences and all that kind of so stuff. It's so vast. And yeah. now, so your company now though is Platinum Body Sculpting. Yes. And you were going to get your RN. Is that yes. correct? So I was actually, um, I was driving down to Texas and I was doing a nursing conference for my RN program. When is this? What year is this? 
2019. Okay, this October. is 19. Okay. Yeah. And so we are driving back because I took a girlfriend with me um, to just deal with the drive with me. And we were talking about kind of our long-term goals. And I talked about how I wanted to become more into aesthetic nursing. And within two weeks, literally within two weeks, um, body contouring came into my life. And so it really just helped me switch gears. And then I just, I started researching it. I you still had access to all of my college um, sites with all of the research papers, the studies, the peer-to-peer reviews and things like that. So I actually was given all of the research material that I needed to be able to start my business and feel confident about the treatments that I was offering. Interesting. So did you, so you're driving down the road with this girl and you're talking about these things. Um, did you know that at that time that that's what you were going to no, want to do? Not in a million like, years. Like what catapulted you to do it? I had another gal that was offering some services, some non-invasive body contouring services that came to me and said, Hey, I think that you would absolutely love this and you would be amazing at it. So I started researching it and just kind of happened. Yeah, right? it did. Everything. Oh, the universe just is always <laughs> happening. It just sometimes things like, you know, um, Megan said the same thing when she was on the show. Yeah, you just, know, she was like, I mean, her story is a little different, right? But you know, and then she was like, and then I found something that I really love to do, right? And I just took off and ran with it. It's yeah. one of those when you know, you know kind of things. Exactly. You just know. Yeah, yeah. and so, you just have to say yes. Yeah. So when you started, um, I mean, what was the path to actually opening the business? I mean, what we talked about earlier, you're an LLC. So right. like, what was the process for you to get that and to, and to get rolling? Yeah. So I originally, whenever I started my business, I wasn't even thinking of an LLC or an S corp or a C corp or anything like that, because I was, that was way out of my wheelhouse. Didn't even know that terminology. And so I really just kind of started my business. I opened up an Instagram account, never had that social media account before. So I opened up that and then I created a, um, a business page and I just started pushing content out of it. Um, and started having clients book with me. Um, and so from there, then the pandemic hit, um, March of 2020 and I was like, Oh, I just literally started my business (laughs) and now I have to shut down. And so that's when I was given the opportunity to actually do all of the back end stuff. And thankfully my grandmother is a accountant CPA. And so she helped me with all of, you know, registering everything, getting my EIN number, um, going through the secretary of state to get all of the tax ID information. So that's how you did that. You went to the secretary of state and did all that. Yeah. And then, you know, depending on what city you're in it, and I didn't have a permanent location. I was renting a space, and Where, so so you were renting a space at the time, and there's yes, and clients were coming in before you had had your LLC and everything. Correct. And then COVID hit, and then yeah. you kind of realized, okay, this could really take off, right? Exactly. And this is giving me pause, right? So I can I can set up my bank accounts, exactly. I can get my licensing, I can yep. get everything set up. Yep. Interesting. Yep. So yeah. it started as a glorified side hustle. Exactly. And then COVID yeah. forced it to turn was, into a legit thing. Yeah, I had my daughter and I was still um, breastfeeding her at the time. And so I wasn't working full time doing anything. I was just kind of doing some agency work, working um, part time at some previous full time jobs that I was because I just love to do three to four things at one time. I don't right. like to be stuck <laughs> anywhere. Um, and so, yeah, I just continued doing those and just steadily started dropping them off off because thankfully we've always with my husband and I been in a position to where he can manage all of our budget for us with his job because we live way below our means. Mm -hmm. Um, and so that was kind of how we were able to successfully start this business. Now, as you were doing all your secretary of state stuff and your EIN and all of your LLC and everything, was it hard? Um, it was hard because I didn't even know the terminology, but it, it took 30 minutes. Right. I mean, it, it really, it was such a breeze. Yeah. And the website really kind of walks you through it. And at that time, it wasn't difficult. If I had a question to contact somebody, they were still fully staffed at that time. Right, right. <laughs> so, you know, yeah. I mean, now it, it may be a little bit different if you have to contact someone and still actually speak hard. to a person. But 
everything is so automated. You know, yeah. the, the yeah. internet is just at your fingertips. And, yeah. and that's what we talk about on this show all the time is everyone thinks it's overwhelming. Yeah. You know, and you're like, oh, what am I going to do? I'm and it is do. until you and just you, do it. And then you yeah. get on there. Don't be afraid to get on there. You got yeah. on there. Oh, you know what? Yeah. This isn't as hard as I thought it was. Right. And next yeah. thing you know, oh, I'm legal. Right. Yeah. And it's like a, it's almost like a huge weight. Exactly. Is Every time you accomplish something, like in our preparation steps that we talk about, mm-hmm. anytime you accomplish, you know, the next step, it's like a little more weight's lifted off. Yeah. Right. And then it, you're just getting closer to freedom every time. Yep. You know, and just and that's the whole point of the show is it's not as hard as you think it is. Right. right. Very yep. interesting. I, yeah. You know, in your so we always send out a questionnaire to mm-hmm. all the guests. You know, and one of our questions was, um, and I'll just read. Uh, what Claire put on here. It says, what was the largest struggle you faced with preparing to start your business? And the first thing you wrote was creating all of the paperwork Mm. informed consent. Yeah. And would you elaborate on that a little bit? Did you call a lawyer for that? I mean, what was the process? What exactly is that? Yeah. So there are specific lawyers that help you with all of that business back end paperwork. However, they are expensive. Um, so there are different, um, legal websites that you can go to that basically have everything pre-populated, all of the verbiage put together. You can choose, okay, if I want a, so say you're wanting an informed consent and it has to specify specific dates and whether it's with another company or an individual and it really, it's, it's, you know, how to for dummies kind of, it just auto populates everything for you. And so I can't remember if it's legal I can't remember. Is it legal Zoom or something like Maybe. that? Maybe. Yeah. There's a, there's a bunch of those out there. Yeah. yeah. Legal Zoom is actually very easy to use. Yeah. Yeah. And very you affordable can, too. You can and do I've, LLC on that too if yeah. you don't want to go to the Secretary yeah. of State website. Yep. But yeah. th- to be honest, they're about the same. Yeah. I mean, they are both very, very yeah. easy to do. Yeah. And, and even if we've talked about this before, even if you're just going to do a side hustle, um, you're a stay at home mom and you're going to do a side hustle, go ahead and get your LLC. Yeah. It's not exactly. that hard. It protects, Do it before and it you're protects ready. your family. It protects you. Yeah. You yes. know, and then you don't have to worry about if what if something happens. Exactly. Right. And it's and, and once you're done with it, it's over. Yeah. It's not reoccurring. You're not paying a monthly fee. It's over. Right. Yeah. That's yeah. And it. then you can be established for even longer within your business. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Very interesting. One of the one of the mistakes I see a lot of people make is when they get their LLC, they think everybody should refer to their business with that as the title. Mm-hmm. So, like. You're talking legally? Yeah, yeah. Like so when like you write it out. Right. Like who do I make this check to? Oh, mm-hmm. make it to Platinum Body Sculpting LLC. Like, mm-hmm. no, it's just platinum body sculpting. Right. Like you don't have to The bank doesn't care. They, they don't the, care that it's got LLC. Care that it's got a routing in right fact, on. a lot of the different paperwork that you fill out afterwards specifically tells you don't add that, right. that little yeah. extra verbiage. Right. Yeah. Right. It's it's just one of those things that you can always tell somebody that's newer in business because they're making sure they put an LLC on everything. They want to be legit. They, they want to. They want to make sure everyone knows I'm legit. Yeah. yeah. So yeah. So once you got rolling, you, so you got that stuff done. What was the most difficult portion after that to get rolling? Hold on, real quick. Let's take a step back. Your informed consent paperwork. Mm-hmm. Why do you have to have that? What part of your that's business makes you have to, like? So for our listeners out there. That may be going, oh, do I need an informed consent? And maybe they're a sheet rocker. Yeah. Maybe they're a lawn mowing company, right? So what, what, like, I know firsthand what about your services causes the informed consent. Is but, it because you're touching people? Exactly. I'm, oh, I'm hey. hands on. <laughs> hey, look at me go. You know? Um, and so you, coming from the, the medical background, um, I remember specifically working in pre-op and I had to get the patients to go over the informed consent. However, that's the doctor's job, not the nurse's job. Right. And so I used to be a little thorn in the doctor's rear end because he is supposed to be present when they sign that document. He is supposed to be there to ask, do you have any further questions? Right. You want to know that the right leg is being operated on and not the left one. Right. Like you have to know what you're going in for. Oh, the correct leg. She said right. And I was like, right, left. What is <laughs> the correct the leg correct is being leg. offered. Yes. Okay, gotcha. Yeah. So you want to make sure that you are informed about exactly what the risks are to the procedure. You want to know exactly what procedure you're getting done. Now, I'm non-invasive. I'm, 
I'm not going in and doing extensive treatments. Right. Um, everything is very, you know, all natural and holistic, but I'm still touching your body with tools or equipment. And you, you want to know exactly it, what the risks to those tools and treatments are. So and it can a, have an adverse effect. Yes, it, absolutely. Right. Especially if the equipment is not used correctly, if not put in the correct hands, it can be it can be pretty serious. Yeah. Interesting. So that's where the informed consent paperwork comes in, is you're basically exactly. informing your customer of the risks. Exactly. And of the possible side effects. Exactly. And, and all of that. So correct. So for our listeners out there, that's why... Is that- was that a generic form that they had, or did you have to have someone draw one up that is specific to you and what you're doing so in it, your... I basically took multiple. So whether I took it from just Googling, okay, non-invasive body contouring consent form, and I just oh, okay. I just plugged and pulled from... I don't know, 20 different consent forms. They all basically said the same thing. And honestly, up until maybe four months ago, I was still editing it. Yeah. I think four and months ago was when I last... Can, and you might be editing it four months from now exactly. as you run into an issue or a, exactly. a side or effect. Or if you that, add something, you right. find something you want to add. Right. right. You know, if something and new And honestly, comes my out. clients, they're like... Ooh, I want, can I take a picture of this? Because they're in the service industry and they're like, this is the best informed consent I right. have come across. I'm like, yeah, that's, that's me. Yeah, <laughs> I got there it. You go. I did it. That's, that's why my co- consults take 30 minutes plus, because man, we're reading it word for word. You're going to know exactly you what you're saying. You want to make signing. sure right. that yes. y- yeah. they know what they're getting yep. into. Exactly. And There's a lot of that. When I'm stuff, signing you it. You got to be careful. So last Friday I went and visited Claire so I could get a firsthand hand experience yeah. of what she does and i'm she's going through her whole spiel i'm doing everything i'm signing the paperwork and she's talking about you may be sore tomorrow and all this and i'm like whatever <laughs> and then about 20 minutes later i'm like fuck i might be sore tomorrow <laughs> yeah. so let's in all honesty claire so claire and i had talked about her coming on the show and she's like hey she's like no i want one of you to come yes, on the show and do the thing. and and um I knew what she did a lot more than I let on. Yeah. And I had no clue. I knew I went in totally blind. I I'm knew like, that it was painful and I was like, but I'm it's gonna not. Let, I'm gonna let Mitch that's, do this. That's the whole point. That's <laughs> why there's not, communication. Because yeah, yeah, it's yeah. not meant to be uncomfortable. No, no. It's yeah. not. I I just kid for effect, but yeah. no, it's, it's not bad. It wasn't unbearable. And some but of it was results, definitely But your muscles are contracting. Yeah. It's, like, yeah. yeah. You're, it's you're, like it's like workness sore workout soreness. Yeah. That's what it is. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's the same thing. Yeah, yeah. your muscles your muscles are, are contracting still working. Yeah. Twenty thousand times. Yeah, I've yeah. seen some of the, like I like your Facebook posts. I yeah. follow you, and I've seen some of them are dramatic. Isn't it like, crazy? Some people it, and I'm thinking the whole time I'm thinking mine after one treatment was like, not. She's not doing not crazy. She's not doing lipo. No, but no. The, well, she'll she'll show like someone the first treatment, and then like, you know, sometimes the she'll show yeah. yeah like two, three, four, five, and then if you just w- look at one and six, you're like. Yeah. Come on. But yeah. I also like, like to show happening? immediately after the first, yeah. Yeah. immediately after the second. Yeah. And I mean, you could see a difference in mine after one treatment. Yeah, immediately I'm like, after. like, damn. <laughs> and the final results take up to 72 hours to one week to show. So just the immediate results well, are pretty cool. What'd my wife tell you is downstairs? It it, is it because it breaks down and then your body flushes it out over yeah, time? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. What'd my wife tell you downstairs? Yeah, that you look like you were yeah. much more toned. So she was out of town whenever I went and saw you. Yeah. When did you and go? Uh, Friday. Friday. My yeah. wife went out That's of town Friday. Thursday. He said Friday. I was there Friday. 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 My wife got back in town Sunday. And like, she said, "You just work out all last week? night, or <laughs> it was like last she night, liked. or she Monday." Liked. Yeah, she was like, "No, damn, you know, you're you're putting on some results." So yeah, did, it, she, did she say finally under her breath? Who knows? No, no we don't know what she said. <laughs> yeah, Take it I long teasingly, enough. I teasingly say to clients, "I'm like, isn't it crazy that this shit actually works?" Yeah, yeah. yeah. Where's yeah. my money? <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 It wouldn't work. I but told you. Yeah. I told you. It, it wouldn't be worth it if oh, it right. didn't work. So exactly. it, it works, and yeah. now pay up. Yeah. All right. Interesting. Okay. So, so can I go back to my question? Yep. yep. Mitch did. It, that was a good thing you brought me back. So after, after you got all your paperwork filled out. I shouldn't say paperwork online and you got everything set up and you're, you've had some success. You had a little pause. Now you're really raring to go. What was the most difficult part for you personally? Um, I have always unfortunately lived a very like fear-based life of 
the bottom's always going to fall out. Like something's going to happen. Always thinking about the worst. Um, and so I guess the, a little pessimistic. Yeah, to a certain yeah. extent, but always knowing. I mean, everything always works out the way that it should. And um, I've been doing a lot more kind of soul searching and things like that and um, realizing that no matter what I do, I will be successful at um, and just getting that mindset going. Um, and so, so I mentally, think, the, yes, the mental aspect yes. of I'm doing it, we're yeah. taking off right now and yeah. we're going to go. Yeah. And, and we haven't talked about that with any of our guests yet. They, they mm-hmm. usually give like a blanket statement about, not I shouldn't say blanket statement, but like getting the building or getting customers or yeah. or the financials. Yeah, I don't think that but any of that it's was... It's interesting you say, hey, I had to get over my own mental hump of I can yeah. do it, right. I'm prepared, and now I'm going to go get it. Right. Well, yeah. and I think that's probably the number one largest fear that stops people from pursuing self From even getting, yeah, to that From point. even considering getting their Absolutely. LLC, right? Yeah. So, uh, and... It is, even those that do it, it's still their fear. For me, uh, it, it, I, I think it's funny you said that because we haven't had a guest say that yet. Yeah. Um, and Very honest. They, all, you, Claire. they well, all have that experience. They just, for some reason, don't want to say it. Right. Right. Um, and maybe, and, and for some people, it's not as big a deal. But right. for a lot of people, it is a big deal. But it is. Now, self-doubt is a big thing. It's as big of a deal as you make it. Right. Right. Now, exactly. as, long, as long as you're dedicated to your craft or your product or whatever service you're providing and you know beyond a shadow of a doubt you're among the best at doing that thing, then you should go into that with confidence that you're going to do really well yeah. at self-employment. It's finding that balance of confidence and still staying humble. Right. Like- so when we started our business... I gathered some friends that were uh, in the Blue Springs area that had like service-based businesses in Blue Springs. One was Shannon, who her episode's coming up here pretty soon. Uh, We had her as a guest. Yeah. Um, um, She was good. One was Erica, the owner of the restaurant. Oh, Um, Sandy's. Yep. And one was the owner of uh, Parenting uh, Children with Special Needs. It's like a a magazine uh, for small children, right? with special needs. Well, they were like, I, I bought them all to dinner and I'm, I'm like telling them like, I'm wanting to start a plumbing company. I'm look, I brought you guys in because you guys have all started your own companies. Like I want you to, I, I just pick in their brain for advice. And, mm-hmm. and the reason I brought them in was cause they were like service based in blue Springs. Like, like I could have gone to Dave, right. But Dave, it was different with Dave. Like Dave was not really sir. Dave was more like construction based. Yeah. He wasn't trying to sell to Blue Springs residents mm-hmm. like I was with no. our. No, I didn't get the free dinner. <laughs> yeah. I didn't get invited to the show. You know, couldn't He's, have been a third wheel. Yeah, no. no. And, and what was funny though, it's I had the, I had the exact yeah. same fear, and every like literally a majority of the conversation was just like, "Dude, just do it. Mm-hmm. Like you're gonna kill it. Just do it. Like yeah. you've got everything figured out, except you." Right. Yeah. You got to get over your own fear. Mental obstacles are the biggest obstacles any Absolutely. person can face. Yeah. And that doesn't have to just do with business. That's no. everything. Right. That's, right, anything. That's yeah. everything. Failure yeah. Failure of relationships, everything. Yeah. yeah. So don't let your own self doubts stand in your way. If you are really good at your craft and you are really good at doing what it is you do and you're considering self-employment, just do it. Mm-hmm. Because... You've got the craft piece figured out. Most people don't even have that figured out. So you show up and deliver the best product and throw in some customer service on top of that, and you're going to kill it. Right. So, yeah, that's that's great, really cool. That's really cool you answer. said that. No yeah. one has said that yet. Yeah. Well, and I think also learning how to talk to people. That was probably another huge hurdle because I am very much an introvert. I'm very much a, a recluse, a hermit. Yeah. Right. And speaking to people new people new people right you know, and, lo- and yeah. lots of people are like that yeah and i mean because i am a one-on-one service base versus i'm not servicing an entire class at one time right it's much easier well um, and hands-on like you're yeah exactly you're up close and personal yeah. with your people yep yep so that could be intimidating yeah 
from your point of view. I tell you like, what, exactly. I would th- like but if I was that doing part that, isn't the intimidating, the hands on part. I like feel once like, it starts, you're like, yeah, rock star, when right? it comes to the treatment, the actual uh, hands on part, that's the easiest thing because that comes very natural to me. I mean, I've been very hands on providing treatments, providing different um services my entire life through your lpn through, background right. right through my entire work work right career whatever. yes that yeah. that word <laughs> yeah. sometimes they get stuck in there <laughs> i just look at mitch sometimes i'm like dude i lost i'm a lost thought. bail me out bail me out i don't know what the hell i'm saying what do you come on dude come up with something <laughs> so what was what was the easiest part yeah providing the actual treatment just just Once, doing the treatment yeah it's on the table with claire and you just lay out your entire life to me and i listen i don't have great advice but i listen and do the treatment and i try to hurt you (laughs) so in a good way (laughs) i don't know how long most of your treatments are mine was what an hour yeah and so an hour yeah so 30 minutes of it girl so 30 minutes of it she has these two electric paddles like strapped to my stomach and she's focusing on my abs and she these paddles deliver electric impulses mm-hmm. into your abs right and they make them contract yeah contract and constrict so, constrict contract contract those and, words don't want to come out yeah and uh <laughs> contract so that right <laughs> so she's testing it all out this is this is her hands-on part where she gets to laugh at people all day long so she's like <laughs> testing out the level <laughs> yeah <laughs> exactly exactly I'm fine. She, she's like all right tell me a comfort level that's that's okay like we want to do some work but we don't want to hurt you and and so when she's testing it out this thing's like popping once at a time just like pop 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 and so you you feel it like but like, then the pain lets off it's almost like flicking your muscle it's not actually like constricting it yeah, right it's like it's almost charlie horse but you, it never gets to that point right and and so then she actually turns it on and this thing is just like and it doesn't let up and i'm like oh shit i didn't know i was signing up for this you know like it's wanting me to like bring my knees to my forehead like it's yeah. it's you grabbing you my were ass so you hard. just yeah. so you know i service the majority most of my clients are women and they and but the men that i do have as clients just have much less of a pain tolerance they they just can't tolerate the intensity of treatments That's as you, much buddy. yeah it's so interesting but you know women were meant to bear children like yeah. our bodies were geared towards one thing you guys were geared towards yeah. being able to of lift course. heavy things yeah. and of stamina and so, well about yeah. five minutes in i'm trying to like maintain a conversation with her and this thing's just <laughs> going to town on my abs and i'm having a hard time talking while it's going and she's like do you need me to turn it down platinum and I'm like, body sculpting it, got him. <laughs> got him. it, it might we're be gonna, nice we're gonna get some abs on that <laughs> yeah. yeah working him it is working it's a good work so customers um not just to completely change so when you when you started, you said the easiest part was the was getting cust- was working on the customers. Was right. it tough getting a lot of customers in um, your business, or did you get most of them me, from like no, like Facebook and Instagram and just people you know? So originally, I started out um, doing different, um, basically just providing a service with trial clients. So they got a discounted service. I you know I got to. S- work on your craft a little bit yes exactly Mm -hmm. get my routine down because it's not just about the actual treatment it's like where am i going to stand where am i going to put my equipment you know getting the layout yes exactly that's why a restaurant does a soft opening they're trying to figure out what walkways work and exactly so um yeah so i basically did that for i think maybe six clients and tried to get different body types, different skin types, different needs, you know, different goals that they had. You don't think about that, but everybody's different. Absolutely. Like, you know what I mean? Yes. I mean, you could get two sisters in there and there could be completely yes. different. Absolutely. Yeah. Yep. So, um, that, that part of it was, um, probably the, the easiest part just because it just, it flowed and it came very naturally. Um, I mean, everyone is very happy to receive free body contouring services. Right, right. <laughs> that's not a hard sell. Right. So, um, yeah, that's how I started out. And they consented to me being able to post their before and afters and gave amazing feedback and testimonies. And still I have, um, you know, I try to ask every client, how can I make your experience different, better? Um, what could I do? Because I want to make yours better next time and the next customer's right. clients so better. So a lot of, a lot of word of mouth. Yes. For sure, so then. the majority of my clients are word of mouth. Yeah. Well, and, and when you focus as hard as you do on 
and, and you're so upfront asking your clients, what can I do to make this better? What can I, clients pick up on that and they are more apt to refer you out because they right. know that you are dedicated to making sure that you've got yeah. the right Referrals people. Referrals are everything. Right. Yeah. 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 And we talk about that a ton. We beat it to death yeah. right. about if, if, if you're in the service industry and you're good at your job, you're going to get referrals. Right. Yeah. And if referrals are coming in, that's, that's a feedback. Right. That means you know that you're on the right track. And reviews. Right. Leaving a review is huge, especially on Google. Well, yeah. And so there's a, there's a lot of people that will ask for referrals or ask for reviews, but they're not as genuine or authentic with their approach to customer service. And so if, if, I mean, if you literally take it by the, the bull by the horns and, and you focus on delivering the absolute best customer service you can, so much so that you're asking, like, you know, you delivered rock star service, but you're still asking them, hey, is there anything I could right. have done better? Because everyone's perception is different. Exactly. And so just simply asking them, even though you know they're going to be amazed by it, simply asking them is enough for them to be like, holy cow, they really do care about giving the best service they can. Right that's going to be somebody that I want to refer my friends to. Yeah. So, um, you, you've got a really cool product too, because there are some people out there that want to buy results rather than work for exactly. results. Exactly. This is not a replacement of the gym. It's not a replacement of diet and lifestyle changes or any of your other self care right. methods. It, it enhances them. It Correct. adds, it adds to your existing yep. regimen. Yeah. But there are enough people out there with discretionary income that right. can add to that. That can add and to their workouts. Their so deal. many right. of my women are postmenopausal and nothing that they do, no matter what changes they make, they've been to the doctor, they've done complete lifestyle changes. They're working out every single day of the week yeah. and nothing is changing that, that lower extra, belly fat. Those extra three inches around their exactly. waist, it's hard to break that And fat what's beautiful down. is that I don't, I focus my treatments more on the health and wellness benefits than the aesthetic. The aesthetic is just the cherry on top, but what we're right. doing to your actual insides of your body is where it's at. That's where the actual benefits come from. You know, yeah. Your mental health, your, your gut health, your lymphatic health, your everything. Yep. Yeah. Interesting. Like one of the things in her informed consent form talks about, like you might have diarrhea after she does these <laughs> treatments yeah. and, and it's flu like I mean, symptoms. Yeah. She's like working on your skin. Right. Mm -hmm. But like, that's a testament to how effective her treatments yeah, are. It's detoxing is, you. Is you getting all of those toxins exactly. out of your body. Yeah. Like, it's, it's legit. And that's, uh, man, I can't really want to say this. On the show. So like if I, okay. So if I get up and I work out and um, go through and then go throughout my day and then I get home. Like, I can't really want to say this. <laughs> Do you have a good bowel movement when you get yes. home at night? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Be but if I don't and I'm slack for three days, it's not the same. See, you my need intestines to... and everything that's going mm -hmm. on, it's amazing what your intestinal health, the, the string between your in intestinal health and your actual working out and your regular health mm -hmm. is so you don't realize until you're yeah. older how much that stuff is tied together. Mm -hmm. Wait till you start taking some pre workout; it'll put that sucker on a clock. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding you; it is crazy. Yeah. No, it's it's extremely important. <laughs> it is. And and when I go through and I I read Claire's stuff, um, you know, because I start I've followed you for ever since you thank started you. it. Thank you. And thank you. and I mean we've been friends for a long time, so I you know right. want to support her and I share her stuff. Um, but it's just like, and then I would read it and then I would go on Google and I'd be like, lymphatic, you know, and I'd, <laughs> and I'd, I'm like, is Most she people full? don't even know what well, that word I is. Didn't. And I was like, is she completely full of shit? And I know we're getting a little off the business topic here. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, I would go and I would, I would look and I'd be like, oh shit. And I, you know, I'd, go, I'd see something else. She put, go on Google, look at it. Yeah. It's, it's amazing how important that part of your health is. We're, right. we're off the business topic, but we're on the city on authenticity topic. Yes. And that is huge, right? Yeah. People can see right through people, somebody who's not authentic or somebody who's not genuine or somebody that doesn't really care. They're just kind of going through the motions. So when you take it as seriously as you do and you take their care as seriously as you do, it's just a recipe for success. Yeah. And I was going to say something um, earlier that was closer to that. A lot like this business, usually when you see people do this business, there's a lot of people that aren't genuine and they're like, oh, okay, 
this is an easy way for me to make money yeah. on the side. Yeah. Like my old stepmother is a great example of this. They did it in their business. Oh, really? Yeah, they tried to open an office, but their their care and their attention to detail and 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 all of that was not um, to your level. So you can tell really um, if someone's genuine about this, right? Like Claire is. I mean. It makes a huge difference in your life. So don't think, oh, this is just another, you know, person trying yeah. to get five There's bucks. Body for con- it's like CVS and Walgreens. They're everywhere. Yes. And they just keep popping up because there's no certification. There's no schooling. There's no license. You can work at McDonald's, go watch that, a YouTube video yes. and, that was and gonna say be, you're an expert. Yeah, that, that's that was, was going to be one of that. my next, one of my next things was the fact that you don't have to have a license. You don't have to have a certification. It's a wild, wild west. It's a little bit of the wild, wild west. However, that doesn't mean anybody can do it, right? There's a lot they of people can't do that, it correctly, right? There's a lot of people that can get into it and try, mm-hmm. but because they're not authentic and they're not genuine, and people right. see right through that, they're going to fail really quick. Yeah, yeah. And, and I get a lot of clients from from those yes, failed right. attempts. Yes, and right. that's where I was going with that. Is if you're going to, um, like we talk about all the time, you know, vet the people mm-hmm. that you're having come to your house. You know, like I would vet Claire. Okay, I'm going to go there. I'm going to Google. I'm going to look up her Google reviews. Mm-hmm. How long she's been in business? Right. When you find those people, and you can like tell Claire, which ones are fake and which yes. reviews are genuine exactly. too. Right. So there's even authenticity in on, the reviews yeah. that you find. <laughs> on that subject, for anybody that's getting Google reviews, do not have your friends and family leave an unauthentic Google Correct. review on your business. Yeah. Google knows. Yeah. who's been to your business and who hasn't. Yeah, because they're tracking our phones. They know, like, they know I dun, stepped dun, dun. foot into your location. Exactly. They know, if, if I leave you a Google review, they know if it's legit. Mm-hmm. They yeah. know if your buddy in two states away has never Looked left his up. state, yeah. and now he's giving you a Google review. And that, I see that so much. I'm yes. like, oh, this is a body contourist leaving a review on another body contourist. Hmm. Yes. So y'all just, like... Yeah. You just tag each other and everybody goes to your page so, that day and, <laughs> and leaves you a review. <laughs> I see some of that horse shit on some of like the plumber's pages oh, every, that I'm it's, on. It's everywhere. It'll yeah. be a guy that just started up in business and, hey, here's my Google my Google my business link. Like, guys, can you go leave me a review and help get things going? And I'm like, that's freaking su- – for one, it's lying. Mm-hmm. And for two, it's freaking suicide. Because be. Google knows exactly what you're doing. And, they start, and then they can take half of your authentic ones and just – you know, I tried Once to get... Once that algorithm starts, it's tough right. to slow yeah. down. I tried to get my Yelp page up and going. Yeah. And they won't they won't acknowledge any of my reviews. Well, it's so So here's here's the bullshit bizarre. part about Yelp. And I'm going to call Google. Yelp out on this right Gotta now. Yeah. Google. Yelp don't, is awful. Don't use Yelp. No, they call me every day. Yeah. I'm going to start blocking we, all we, the numbers. No, we, yes. told them, we told them that we were going to file harassment charges yes. on them if they call us again. They email me. Yeah. They, they call me. Yeah, it's yeah. insane. We, here's, the, here's the bullshit part about Yelp. They're, they're, Yelp. They used to be here. No, they're, And now they are. They were never even up here. The Yelp. G- no, Google's up I here. I like Yelp. Yelp's here. No, I like Yelp for finding <laughs> here's, like restaurants yeah, and that's, stuff. That's, that's but legit. Here's here's the hey, thing. Thing. Hey, hey, hey. Yelp <laughs> hold was up, hold Yelp up. was <laughs> built. I like Yelp. <laughs> Yelp was built for people to bitch and complain about businesses. Why would anybody with an upstanding business want to go put their business on a site that was literally founded yeah. to complain about businesses? Yep. It makes no freaking sense. Yeah, it's just a bunch of trolls. Here's the other bullshit part about it. If you advertise with Yelp, they'll show every review you have. They literally extort you for advertising money just to be honest. And that yeah. for, for that reason alone, I will never use Yelp. We yeah. don't have a Yelp account. We are killing yeah. it on Google. I'm surprised they haven't been sued. They, they, they've they tried. Sure, yeah. By more than a couple of people. Right. Yeah. Like some people have tried. was like, okay, you know what? But yeah. I've had enough. But here's the thing. Like you can't... It, to, to go into Yelp and then bitch about how they do their services, you're just like cutting branches off the tree. You got you to gotta solve that problem at the root, and that is you just don't do business with that company. Right. That company sucks. That and, and now they're like in bed with Angie's List. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, and it's even worse. Yeah, that right? Angie's List so, is the biggest I found a contractor out. on Angie's List and took out a home equity loan and – he had like 34 plus uh, five star reviews and right. he took everything, every penny of my home equity loan and left me with a gutted bathroom and a basement that the drywall 
uh, stickers that you put on around the drywall wow. peeling yep. off. Yeah. I mean, and paint, he painted my floor. Yeah. Why would you paint my floor? It was supposed to be epoxy, not freaking house he thought, paint. He thought right. paint wasn't. And then he he was pushing it all down my floor drain. All yeah. of the glue and it was, yeah. That's Angie's awful. List is such Again, a scam. It's Angie's such list, a scam. Yelp, all of those. I hope like, they don't try to sue us. That's no. <laughs> you, they can't sue you for being honest. That's true. It's not libel or slander if you're being. Did honest, you crush the guy right? on there? I did, what and I that? don't. Yeah, I don't ever leave bad reviews, and I took pictures. I posted every single. Good yeah. sure I could. Yeah, yeah. it was insane. It, I rely on Google reviews a lot, and and we ask for Google reviews a lot in our business. And the reason why is because Google is the most transparent out there. Yelp fucks it all up yep. whenever they charge you. you They're got literally all fired up about the Yelp. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. They, they charge it's like you. Trying to talk to Sprint. Yeah. Well, imagine <laughs> imagine having a hundred. Don't, oh. Imagine Verizon. having a hundred. Oh. No, let's let's even go smaller than that. Imagine having tw- having twenty five star reviews and two two star reviews. Yeah. And Yelp shows four reviews for your business: mm-hmm. the two two stars yep. and two five stars. Yeah. They 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 do that. Like this is legit. Yeah. yeah. And they'll release the other eighteen five star reviews if you'll only start advertising mm-hmm. with them every month. Yeah. It's got to be illegal, right? How bullshit! No, because you're agreeing to it. Yeah, well, don't you're agreeing to sign up print, for a Yelp all account. All the informed consent that you didn't read. Yeah. Oh shit! Oh so, <laughs> shit! Get and, real now. And and Yelp will. Claire learned her they'll lesson. They'll get they'll get <laughs> super clever. They'll be like, oh, somebody left a review for you on our page, and so you know now that you've got a review, we need to start like you need to start advertising mm. with us and all this, and like we have one on Yelp. And I guarantee you, it was fucking Yelp that wrote it. Oh, I guarantee They it used it as their, like, uh, pathway to entry oh, to call it. us. I guarantee it. It's the most ambiguous thing ever, and it's not of one of our customers so you that think wrote it. Yelp is sabotaging? Is that what you... Well... I like Yelp, man. It, Yelp is cool. They're not sabotaging, but they're trying to set up... They're trying to set up... Yeah. Uh, they're trying to create their own advertising that you want to buy. They're they're leveraging you into advertising, is yeah. what it is. Yeah. Uh, that's that's it's exactly what it is. They pull you down a rabbit hole for a while, mm-hmm. and then all of a sudden you get so far in bed with them that if you want people to see your true transparent self, mm-hmm. now you have to start paying Yelp a whole bunch, whole bunch of money. Mm-hmm. You'll never see me do that ever. Yeah. So side, gonna, t- side tangent. Well, crazy side tangent. No, it's that's, okay. It's not a side no. tangent. That's a legit thing for it's, anybody wanting to start their business yeah. or already has yeah, a business. Stay far away from Yelp. Yank your Yelp account. Just don't even do it anymore. Just yeah. abandon the whole freaking thing. So we don't like, we have no shortage of work and we don't even touch Yelp. Exactly. A lot of people think, oh, I got to get on Yelp. That's how I get work. No, mm-hmm. you don't. No, you, word of mouth. And, mm-hmm. and you don't want the customers that come from Yelp. Customers that are picking businesses off of Yelp, keep in mind that customer went to a place that is built for bitching about companies. Right. You don't want that customer. You don't want a Yelp customer. A Yelp customer is somebody that Nor is Groupon. going to be a pain in your ass. Yeah. <laughs> Did you say Nor Groupon? Nor yeah. Groupon. <laughs> Groupon's, yeah, Groupon's really? similar. Yeah. Now, now they're not shady with their reviews. No. But it's just the mentality of a person that uses right. Groupons as yeah. a discount-based customer. That's so they're, it, yeah. they're wanting discount-based. I use based. Groupon. Yeah. They're, they're wanting <laughs> discounted services. I Groupon, but Retail I use me it. not or what not to. Well, <laughs> service I'll business. I'll jump in that boat with you. Right. Service <laughs> businesses don't do well on Groupon. Right. I, I worked for a plumbing company one time that tried to sell toilets off a of Groupon. Oh. And and it was like a you know, six hundred and fifty dollar toilet install for four hundred bucks or something and it flopped. Like we yeah. didn't sell a single one. Yeah. So Groupon's great for pasta or movie tickets or something yeah, like that. Axe throwing. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's yeah, not if you want to try it one time. It's yeah. not good for a hands on person to person service massage, related. No, business. I'm not going to massage therapist. Right. That's on Groupon. Yeah. <laughs> really, why not? Uh, that's like the, gas station sushi, man. Yeah, exactly. You just stay away oh, really? from that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I think I had a Groupon for Massage Envy one time. <sighs> so like, I've been there a handful of times. It's Massage really nice. Envy is cool. maybe a little different because they're, it's really nice. they're it, a nationwide chain. Yeah. yeah. So Every time I've been there, I've had it's it, been good. A, a franchise location might be a little different. Yeah. Well, you don't want to get a Groupon. Envy. Massage Envy is basically they pull people straight out of school. They yeah. basically you get a significant discount on your 
massage therapy tuition mm -hmm. to guarantee oh, that to you'll say work you're like go there. 30 months or something like that at yeah. Massage Envy whenever you graduate. Yeah. So you get you get very new, which isn't a bad thing, but you also don't get the experienced mm -hmm. providers. Right. I don't need an experience. I need someone with that wants to get in there deep. Man, yeah. Like, I, you know what I mean? That still has I, all of their they energy. Still, yeah, they're and, young, they're yeah, strong. Doesn't have joint pain. I need someone to try to hurt me. Yeah. I've only had like three massages in my life ever. Dude, right? they're awesome. The first one I'm was a complete and utter joke. The next one, we got back from a ski trip just a couple of months ago, and I had taken a big tumble. And then like four days later, my neck was all stiff. So one of the girls that I work out with is a masseuse. And she's like a le legit masseuse, Does right? she want to be on the show and give free massages to me? I don't, and I don't, I don't think know. that they like See? being called masseuses. Yeah, maybe. What do they, they like? I got I'm, corrected I'm pretty out of touch one time. On that. I, a massage therapist. Oh, yeah, massage okay. therapist? Yes. yes. Okay. Because I so, think masseuse is maybe, it's like is calling, that the dirty side? Calling, it, calling a paramedic an EMT. Or calling an RN an LPN. Well, you just say EMT because it's quick. Yeah. Uh, you don't say it to be disrespectful. You right. say because you're, you know, yeah. well, you're just. I feel like because I'm not in that, I wouldn't know. Exactly. What the uh, yeah. is. Well. I that's got corrected point. one time. So that's yeah. the only why, reason why I got burned <laughs> yeah, in my bur brain. Okay. <laughs> well, I'm like ultra basic. I'm like, hey, I got a problem with my neck. Can you come, you know, fix it? And so she's doing like all things around the neck and my shoulders and everything else. And like 10 minutes in, she's like, how long has your the left side of your back been bothering you? Mm -hmm. And I'm like, uh, what? Like it has. They know. They, they know oh, where the muscles she, are. She knows exactly. Yeah, and she, I'm like, damn. Like yeah. she is in tune. That's yeah. Freaking really? Wild. Are they? Are they really like? Oh, she Dude, had it pegged. Know, they know where the muscles are supposed to be. And if this one over here is, they know where your ribs are supposed to if be. This one is yeah. a solid yeah. knot. They know something's been happening. Yeah, it's wild. So. The only like massage that I've had was the Elms. I don't know if you guys ever. Yes. Oh, yes. I love that. Legit. So, yes. so that one's, those are going to be like uh, they, relaxing. Those are very romantic luxury. Kind of, yeah, yeah. yeah. They have different styles though, I'm sure. Because there are different. There's deep tissue. Yeah. There's, you know. This Swedish. one was like problem solving. Yeah, Swedish. Yeah, problem there's a solving. lot of them. Yeah. Dude, when I Asian. go, when I, <laughs> first you off, your it, arms and legs behind off, your we back. got we got plenty of those around here. <laughs> if you get a group on and it says Asian massage five bucks, do not go. Well, okay? Or or go. Depends how adventurous <laughs> you're feeling that day. Don't take any money with you. <laughs> don't take your wallet with you. You don't know what's gonna happen. Take an Uber. Twenty bucks yeah. is twenty bucks, man. <laughs> twenty bucks is twenty bucks. Man. You can go Robert Kraft on that stuff. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, <guys. laughs> look at that. We got. They, they didn't offer that at the Elms. No. Oh. <laughs> Next topic. Next question. Yeah, look at it. We got them all flush. We we've been talking for a while. Let's oh, let's just get a little back on track. Reel it so, back in. Um. So you're up and running. Everything's going good. What? What's your next step now? Um, putting together education um, packages where I am teaching other people that would like to do what I do. Like do like do what you do and work with you or do what you do to be on their own or um, like you want to get bigger or, or what? You know, I don't, I don't see myself as running multiple other, other employees. I don't, I don't think that that's my passion. I think I would like to teach people to do it on their own and then go off on their own. Interesting. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. I wonder if you could, you know, hairdressers, we talk about this all the time. Yeah. Marcus's wife is a hairdresser. Um, stylist is what they stylist. Like to be called. I, I apologize. Listen tell here, her. EMT, <laughs> LPN. If she watches the show, okay, tell her I, don't know. Tell I, don't her know I apologize. Like um, I wonder if you could do a booth rental for stuff like that. Absolutely. So yeah. You, so you, I have two extra so you, rooms in my space and everyone yeah. always says, why don't you rent them? Because I want it to happen organically. I do yeah. not want like if you, some but if you had a couple buddy girls that, that has you, a totally different energy than me oh, coming in and just wrecking the place. But if you trained them and then you had, you could just say, hey, this is your room. Right. For every, you yeah. know, you know, hour and I you think, work here, that's it, you know, or well, hey, you, you could know, even you could go the other any, way with it. Anything and with that. You yeah. can do all kinds of stuff with that. You could have yeah. somebody pay in your house. Yeah, exactly. If we ever get that figured yeah. out. You could have somebody that's wanting to start a business doing what you're doing, mm -hmm. and they travel to you, right. and they literally pay you a tuition mm -hmm. for you to go through everything. Right. So now you're getting paid by the client, and 
they're working directly under your supervision and they've had right. some training. So they're not going to like damage a client or hurt a client. Yeah. But, could be an interesting but like you could almost yeah. get double paid. Exactly. That way, right. Yeah. And I, I have had multiple people reach out to me and I usually just said, oh, I'm not training at this time. But the last time um, someone reached out to me, I said, you know what? I would be open to it. I don't have any specific book that I've created. I don't have an actual like agenda or anything like that, but you're going to get the best damn hands-on training right. and we're going to go through everything and you're going to be able to take your own notes right. and, and pick up whatever you want. And so, yeah, I've, I've discussed that. The, the problem is, is that, well, it's not a problem, but body contouring is like, um, because it doesn't require any, any schooling. Um, it's a very, Everyone wants to do it for fast cash. It's mm -hmm. like lash techs. Um, yep. There's no schooling. You don't have to be a cosmetologist first. You don't have to have any type of background. You can just go take a $99 course and be a certified lash tech. Right. But there's actually no certification for it. Right. Um, and so th that that's one of the biggest things is that I don't want to start teaching um, techniques when when they don't even know the different layers of the tissue they don't know where the organs sit inside of the body they don't actually understand um, what the liver does and its purpose and right. so forth and so um, it's just it's a it would tricky be, situation it would right? just yeah and so um, for me being able to teach someone that I mean we're starting at anatomy and physiology yeah. we're starting at the circulatory system and the lymphatic system and and really getting a a broader understanding that goes in depth beyond the actual protocols of the treatments. Well, and, and so you you could add that. It to ended your... up being a lot of money because I'm not. Yeah, not necessarily. What I've said is that you know if you want to train with me, you're going to pay me what I charge my clients per hour. Yeah. Because I'm not going to lose money training someone that may end up being my competition. Right. You know, I never look at it as competition. Everyone is so incredibly different. I shared a space with someone that offered some of the same services that I did. Mm -hmm. But we are totally different people. And so clients that would come to see me would never come to see her and, and vice versa. So, right. um, but yeah, it's not about competition. But at the same time, they, you know. It is competition. It is. That's just when life. You, That's nitty just gritty, one yeah, one, down you know? to, yeah. And, and there's nothing wrong with creating a set of standards or prerequisites for somebody to enter into training under you. Yeah. Right. So you could take somebody legally, who has. It's, I mean, it would, it's going to cost me an arm and a leg to take them to court because non-competes and um, whatever the other one is called. Non-solicit. Mm, that where they one, take your work? Basically. Non-solicit where they, would be them c taking your customers. Non-compete yeah, non would be they open non disclosure a, um, Basically where they can't work within so many miles of my business. They can't open up their own. They can't take my clients or yeah. their clients with them if they're specifically those, working. Those are actually me. really easy to put up. And they put are. Together. But implementing and actually having a judge, because I've had, I've had countless clients who I've talked to about it, and they're like, yeah, it doesn't stand up in court. You know, and that well, could be, and that could be one of those things too. That uh, so you like what you're doing now, and um, and as long as it's not broke, don't fix it. And then say, fifteen years from now, exactly when you, I am if you well established like, and yeah. I don't have any room on my schedule, and I've got clients booked, you know, six months in advance, well, and you I could don't just have do a the single, schooling. Then you know, yeah, if you wanted exactly. to just say, hey, e look, you could be like, hey, look. I have 15 years of experience. Yeah. This, well, here's, is, this is what qualifies me. Yeah. This is what I have done. These are my pre prerequisites of mm -hmm. what I want you to have. And I'm going to train you in these areas. Yeah. It's going to cost X amount of dollars. And then I'm, I'm taking on 10 students. Yeah. You know, oh, and, when and you're tired of, of, of actually doing the work, right. you know, maybe that would be something you oh, absolutely. could do later. And yeah. here's how you implement that. It's really simple. You, you list your prerequisites. You don't take on any people with a Missouri residence, like just that plain and simple. And oh, if you have a Missouri ID or address, you don't get to train there? You, yeah, you don't even offer it to Missouri residents. Mm -hmm. um, and then you still have them sign a non-compete to where saying they, they will not set up shop in Missouri for so many years within so many miles of your location and all yeah. this stuff. And, and those do hold up in court. They, they very much do because it's very black and white. They signed it, you signed it. And, and they agreed they will not offer any of these following services in Missouri. And here, if you catch them offering those services, yeah, I, I think mean, it's, it's very black and white. Yeah, I think what the so. difficult part is, is um, the miles, the mile radius that you set. Like, yeah. 
it, it won't be valid if you set it um, past like three miles or five miles. It's a very, very small radius. It can radius. be difficult. Yeah. yeah. But the, it can be difficult. The easiast way you fix that is. is you just don't bring them in from Missouri. Right. And and they're going to come and stay. Like they have to have all these prerequisites. And then right. they're going to come and, and like get a hotel for a week or two weeks. Yeah. And they're, it's going to be... And And what we were talking about, so um, I have a building, a workshop on my property that Mm -hmm. has its own utility, just need it plumbed, Um, and talking about creating a, like an Airbnb style um, add on to it to where, cause I do, I have out of state clients that come to see me and they do, they stay with family or they stay in a hotel to get their treatments done and then they go back to wherever they're from Yeah, and then they would just be able to stay right there on the property. Yeah. I yeah, like it. it would be that would be a really cool way to yeah. uh, share your expertise with right. others. So, I mean, ultimately, like Dave and I are passionate about that. That's the whole reason we do this podcast, mm-hmm. right? So, any anytime somebody wants to come on and help grow and build others, that's going to be right yeah. huge. Yeah. So we're knocking on the door here. I have one last question. Yeah, fire it up. If you could give any general, I shouldn't say general, any business related advice Mm -hmm. to someone that wanted to start their own company. What do you think that would be? Mm, The first thing that comes to my mind is network. Get out in your community, network with other small business owners, be involved in the community. Exactly. Connect with (laughs) Marcus's wife who you could have a referral based program with. She refers her clients to me. I refer my clients to her. Um, Meeting everybody in the community, getting on Eventbrite, which is, I don't know where you can find it besides Facebook. It's probably its own entity, but that's kind of how I found it. And just search like networking groups, um, whether it be female or male or all inclusive or your specific um, industry um, networking groups. I am a walking advertisement. Everywhere I go, I'm, I'm in my work attire, which is like workout clothes. Mitch is the same way. Yeah. Yeah. I always, it says follow platinum body sculpting KC on the back of my shirt. It has my logo on the front. My pants even say stuff on it. Like, so always I've got business cards in the little side windows of my vehicles. So even at the grocery store, people can see what I'm doing when they park next to me. Yeah. Um, I haven't got to the point to where I'm plastering my car with it. Um, but I'm working on, you know, but be proactive yeah. yes. in every area when yes. it comes to and, free advertising. And I don't think the car wraps work voice. all that well. Yeah. Build your voice. So when someone says, Hey, what do you do? Don't, don't be shy. Yeah. Um, don't say platinum. I'm, and I'm telling I'm this to myself and then right. walk around the corner yes. and say, Oh no, this is what I do. Yes. I this help men and women at. build their confidence through non-invasive body sculpting where I tighten your skin and I get your circulation and your lymphatic system boosted and, you know, just really amp up your own, yeah, your own energy because be then they're going right? to be your own that. brand. Exactly. Walk, walking. Yeah. You're a living, walking, yeah. Great answer. brand. Yeah. yeah. And Great answer. don't automatically think that your family is going to be your support system. No. Yeah. Cause they're not, no, they're not. And, no. and that's not a bad thing. No. It's just, they're, they're doing their I own thing. They're doing their own yeah. thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And, and if you're yeah. going to be successful, it's because you're successful, exactly. not because your family handed you a bunch of work. Right. Yeah. So or because they believe in you. I think that's kind of where I was going. There are so many people that I talk to that, that feel like their family was the last to get on board with supporting them. Right. That happens a lot. Yeah. And, right. and we've talked about that yeah. a ton on all our episodes. And but we talked about that. Them, but a lot. We yeah. talked about that in the core episodes about like, you're going to want to develop a list of what you're going to do to get work. And it's like right. this bottomless pit of ideas that you're going to use to get work. Yeah. Your shirts that say yeah. follow adopt platinum. a street. I was at city hall today talking to them about adopting a street right. and, and doing cleanup because not only do I want that advertisement, but I want to get my kids more involved in yeah. community and showing them that don't throw your trash out on the side of the freaking right. road because this is what happens and it destroys our planet and, you know, yeah. Yeah. showing them real life situations That's and awesome. giving them the, that experience. Community to, involvement, man. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Advertising one on one. It is huge. Yep. It is very huge. So oh, man, yep. it's huge. Yeah. Well, any more questions for Claire? I no, I had all my questions answered last Friday when I, <laughs> 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 yeah, she oh, she man. gives you some really cool boxer shorts to wear. Yes. They're like mesh. Yeah. They're net. black. Yeah. I don't like. It's like a hairnet. For, yeah. It's like a hairnet. For your for, private parts. Yeah. So 
<laughs> okay, you know what? I'm not gonna say anything. I'm not gonna say shit. I You're covered. It's it's yeah. I no, I, it's I, not, no, I, I finally stopped giving the men the the thong and started giving them the box. It's like a boxer. Yeah. I was hoping that so all your thong pictures of the of the ladies for doing that. I was. I was like, I, I hope to God that Nothing she stays gives. In there. I should have called her and been like, yeah. "You need to give Mitch one of those thongs." <laughs> and I did. I didn't do it, but I was like, "Ah, yeah." That I, would have been my awesome. first like, male she just client. Comes out, like here you go. Yeah, yeah. my first male client. <laughs> I did. I was like, hammock. "Why don't we try these? I don't think it's gonna work because everything's just gonna flop everywhere." Right. But <laughs> right. so then I actually bought actual re- some for men. Yeah, I bought yeah. some some boxes and it's still wanting to flop everywhere yeah it does knows, there's it's not a boxer it, brief yeah. it's yeah i love it's, it it's just a cover for I a photo. but i cover you, you with a towel as well so yeah no so matter any, what happens for, so for any men but boobs are go. boobs are flopping too so i mean it's something's always well, flopping what you're doing you're flopping it. everything <laughs> yes if oh she's working on it if all. there's something yes. to flop it's gonna flop with what you don't get a workout i get a workout during the treatment flopping stuff's yep. flopping boobs are flopping but everything's flopping because she's working it's on twerking. it underarm like she everything she is working on it yeah right? oh yep. my god i love it so you're on you're on instagram you're yes. on facebook yes. and you're on tiktok yes and all of them have the same name and they are yes. platinum body sculpting kc yes sir all right oh is it kc at the end yeah. Platinum Body Sculpting KC. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Platinum email, Body Sculpting was that. already taken on Instagram. So KC, I had baby. to add KC to had it. Had to add KC. What, what? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, that that pretty much wraps up our show for today. Guys, if you if you have any questions for Claire um, or, or any questions, uh, if this show's prompted any questions at all, feel free to send them to askmitch at mitchsmedley.com. And we will uh, we will get them forward. If it's a question for Claire, we'll get it forwarded right over to Claire. Um, if it's a question for us, obviously, yeah, we'll, we'll answer we'll it. Hand her, we'll, answer whatever whatever her we'll. answer is, we'll tell you. Yeah, yeah, we'll we'll maybe get you guys in contact about that too. So um, follow her on the socials too. Uh, yeah. It's a pretty fun model to follow um, because of of what you're doing, and and it's really cool that it does not take licensing and all of that stuff. There's no. There's no permission, so to speak, right. required before you can yeah. jump right in. Well, and when you follow her, you see the results. She has right. the um, the clients that let her take before and afters. You see them right there. Right. I mean, it's it's completely obvious. Yep. Yeah. So if you have doubt, all you have to yeah. do is look. Yep. Yep. It's right there. And I'm a walking, breathing testament as well. Yes. So. <laughs> Just wait. Your pictures will be there as well eventually. Oh, great. <laughs> you signed that consent form. Didn't read it all the way. blur out my face. <laughs> nah. Nope. There no, was, there's there, no faces she, on there. She's got a line specifically yeah, there's saying, no faces. I yeah. allow you to use my photos. Yeah. So. Yeah. There's no faces on there. Though. Nope. Yeah. I don't ever post faces. Nope. It's, there's no faces. Well, my lower back tramp stamp tattoo is going to be... A yeah. telltale sign that yeah. it was me. I'll tag you in it. <laughs> yeah. There you go. yeah. <laughs> I'll tag hey, the void in we, it. We keep, yeah, we, keep, yeah. <laughs> we keep your face out of it. I'll just tag you in it instead. Oh, my God. I love it. No, um, guys, remember, uh, if you like what you're hearing on the show, please do us a favor and give us a review on whatever platform you're listening on. If you're listening on YouTube, uh, hit the like and subscribe button for this show. Um, if you're listening on Spotify or Apple Podcasts, uh, please do us a favor and subscribe with notifications, but then also um, uh, leave us a review on that platform as well. Those reviews really help us pop up in the search engines uh, and help other people see this show. So um, again, uh, Claire, thanks for thanks Thank for being guys. on. Thanks, girl. Thank so, you. Yeah, we've, we've had a lot of fun, and uh, we will catch up with you guys next week. All right, man. We'll Love you, you all. See ya.